Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create VLANs in VMware ESXi 6.5 or 7. This is a continuation of the lab where we will be setting up our own safe environment for testing security skills. And in this lab, <coughs> we are just uh, installing our VLANs in ESXi. And you might ask, what are VLANs? These are logical groupings of devices on the same broadcast domain. You usually configure VLANs on switches, as you can see on this um, diagram here. And uh, they are pretty much to separate traffic so that uh, traffic from different broadcast domains doesn't interact. This can be for security reasons, it's also for performance. And in this diagram, I'm showing you uh, VLAN 1 for management, VLAN 2 for just computers, VLAN 3 for voice over IP, and VLAN 3 for cameras. And this is what uh, most companies use. So uh, in this lab, we're creating VLANs following this network diagram that I shared with you. And we'll be creating three subnets, operations, home, and IT management. We, I don't need to create uh, Wi-Fi. So um, now that we got that out of the way, let's go and uh, configure our VLANs. First thing that you want to do is um, log into your VMware ESXi and in this case um, I'm already logged into mine. We installed this in the previous vi uh, video. If you missed that, go ahead and uh, look, at it, look into it. So you want to go into net under networking. You want to choose uh, one of your sw switches. In this case I only have one. So you choose a switch as you can see right here. Actually, let's just go to networking. And uh, if you do um, need to create a VLAN, you just need to add a port group. So the way that um, VLANs work in um, ESXi is that it supports 802.1Q VLAN tagging. So when you put a VLAN ID here, that's uh, how traffic is going to be identified. And um, that's pretty much how it works is you put a VLAN ID and uh, traffic will be identified. And in this lab, I'm going to create, uh, say, the name for this one, referring to our um, network diagram here. I just want to call this uh, IT management. And the VLAN ID for that is 5. I only have one virtual switch, so I can just leave that. I leave everything here in the defaults and do an add. So we've just added the IT management uh, VLAN. I already created the operations VLAN with VLAN ID 10. And now we just need to create one more. This one I can call it our uh, home. Add port group. Home. And for home, VLAN ID is two. And add. And as you can see, if you go to your switch, now we have different VLANs. We have VLAN ID 2, 5, 10, and the VM network is the, the default network that's going to be created. I don't do that. And then the management network, I just leave it that, that way. So now that we've created VLANs, uh, we can go ahead and start creating virtual machines and add them to these VLANs. If you have any questions, please remember to leave me a comment in the comment section below, or otherwise uh, subscribe to this series where we'll do hands-on labs to gain IT skills. Uh, just make sure that you subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.